What is up? I was gonna do a little bit of a gear dump here of what my mobile setup will be for the 2024-2025 deer season. Um, I'm gonna start with the bow over here. Um, this is a Hoyt Alpha X 30 inch axle to axle. It is the 60 to 70 pound limbs. Um, I am running the Ghost Stick 2.0s um, and I'm running the factory uh, drop away. It's like a one inch drop. I am running a six arrow quiver from Hoyt. Um, it's a low profile quick detach. And uh, running a Trophy Ridge React uh, four pin. We can go to arrow here. Um, I am running an Easton 6.5 match grade with uh, Halo pink lighted knocks. Um, AAE Max veins with some Boeing wraps. And three blade muzzy, 100 grain. I also have a 75 grain insert in the inside of this. So, and they're, I believe they're 28 inch arrows. So, uh, that's that. And for my quiver this year, I actually just got this today, it is an Ultra View. This is a medium aluminum it's their button so I will be running that for this season and I also forgot um, I am running the new QAD uh, drop away that is an upgrade for this year we'll get to the pack here um, this is a mystery ranch pop-up 40 it's not the perfect thing for saddle hunting but I wanted something that uh, I could do some packing out and also saddle hunting. Um, I am putting my sticks and my platform in the meat shelf here. Um, I also could run them on the back here, but I like it closer to my back. It relieves some of the weight. They are pretty easy to get out of here. Um, I wanted the pack so I could uh, pack out meat in case I uh, shot a deer way back in somewhere that uh, it would make it easy to pack out a deer. And I can just put my uh, saddle stuff on the back of the back of it here and just pack the deer out. So this flips right open. <clears throat> I am running the Latitude Carbon S series uh, sticks this year. Um, I do have aiders on these, um, single step aider for my two top sticks and a double step aider for the bottom stick. Black stealth stripping everywhere on the contact points. See, a little bit of a, something like rattling antlers if you cling them together. This is the platform I ran last year. It's the X-Wing. I do have the Latitude, the new one, on order. Um, that is, should be here just before season. And then we can go into, this is my the top pouch, the cover pouch here. I usually put my camera in here. Um, got one of these hair things that I uh, picked up from Walmart or Dollar General or something that I put over top of my camera for when it rains. A grunt tube and a uh, GoPro. So it's right there, easy access. I just, uh, it's got the hat clip on here that you can put it on your hat. Um, but I run it in my uh, gear strap and face it down for a second angle on myself here. Wind floaters, a dough bleat. And I do have a rattling bag. I like, cause they're uh, lightweight and uh, small compact. So I, uh, keep those in there. I'm going to be running Lone Wolf uh, pocket arm that I store inside of my bag. That's right here. I got a fluid head on the front of that. And then I also have a mo control little thing here. 
that I can run my camera off from so I'm not reaching up on top of my camera and messing with it here so it's right down right where I am so I can use one hand move it around and control my camera and I also will be running the tact cams I have a few of the X pros and the XBs I do not have any of the 3.0s or the Pro 3.0s. I also will be keeping the Latitude knee pads in my backpack. Um, I'll be using these for the long sits. I don't know if I'll be using them for the just two, three hour sit, but for the all day sets, I will definitely be using these for sure. Um, I also am using some Leopold's, nothing too special. They're just a 10 by 42. You don't need nothing, a lot of magnification for uh, bow hunting, uh, especially when most of my sits are on a field edge or that you can't really, can't really see very far or in the tall trees or somewhere that's uh, real thick. And another thing for this year is this uh, Mystery Ranch uh, pack here. This is new to me, um, but it folds out, and then you uh, can actually hang it from a gear strap, like this, you can hang it up. As you can see in the top one here, I just have, um, this is for my GoPro that I keep in there, battery pack. Um, it's solar powered, um, I can charge it with the solar. But, uh, and also a head clamp for my GoPro thing to put my phone in that I can also put on the top of my uh, backpack if I need to. Backup battery for the big camera. Also have a few chargers, one for the GoPro and one for the cell phone and a couple extra batteries for the GoPro here. Now these little uh, tension straps here, bungees, just neat that you can store them, stuff on that. Some odd and end things, I keep a backup release, flashlight, got a knife. Now I have a Leatherman that's got all kinds of different tools on it. You got a couple knives and um, like screwdriver, Phillips and flathead, screwdriver in that. Ripper that I use. I have asthma real bad, so I carry an inhaler. A backup strap here. A couple extra carabiners. Chapstick for them long walks, you know, you get some chapped lips. Some Tylenol just in case, a lighter. And uh, that pack there, is, it just keeps everything very, very, very neat. I'll be keeping that in my bag. Also. All right. On to the saddle. So I am running the Latitude Method 2. It is the split panel. It just magnets back together. I'm running two of the dump pouches. So this is my left side, the tethered gear strap here. And I have the Latitude uh, bow hanger that is right on that gear strap. And got these uh, double-sided uh, carabiners and I also have my back band wrapped up in this dump pouch and then this little zipper pocket here is where I keep my straps this strap is for my pocket arm my strap for my platform I just keep those in there I always try to keep it organized everything in the same spot all the time so when it's dark, you know, it's a lot easier to find what I want. I have the 8 mil tether that you uh, use from Latitude. Um, I got both clips on here that I use it as my linesman rope too. And uh, I'm also using a Kong duck, which is a new thing for this year. Trying that out. And here I have a couple more of these carabiners. This is another one of the double sided carabiners. There's a special carabiner that uh, I can hook this onto my gear strap and on this side it swivels and this is what I hang my backpack on. 
And I'm running the HSS uh, gear pull up. Um, I didn't like the carabiner that was on it, so I tied one of my own double sided carabiners on it. Um, this is just one you crank and you pull up. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on something that's better, I'm looking into want a, a retractable one would be nice to have. Um, I just don't see anything that is small and does what I want. So I have not bought one. I haven't found one that I really liked yet. On to my gear here, that my Sitka gear. Warmer part of the year, I run my layers. This is a Merino. 330 um, It's a quarter zip with a hood and it's also got the face mask also in it um, I use this to uh, layer up underneath For the colder sits, but I also use this when it's uh, warm out. So it's, uh, it's thin and uh, It's a good layer and then this is the warmest layer This is an ambient as you can tell, I like hoods. I got hoods on everything, and it's a quarter zipped also. Um, that is the ambient, and I also layer up with that. And if it's getting warmer, the Stratus. This is a Stratus jacket here. Um, you have your hole here in the back for your safety harness, which I am saddle hunting, so I won't be using that. I do have a couple tree stands that are stationary, so I will be using a harness for those. And then I also have the Stratus pants. It comes with a belt. Um, these have awesome pockets. I mean, nice deep pockets, very roomy. Um, I do usually run, I uh, keep my gloves in there all the time. Keep my gloves in there and cell phone whatever gopro if need be this is a fanatic neck gaiter i don't know if it's a fanatic but it's the neck gaiter that sika makes it is the very fluffy one it's very very warm i also keep this in there for the colder uh colder sets i keep this in my pants also and i do have this uh hand warmer pouch i had issues with the fanatic because it has a hand warmer pouch itself but with the saddle it seemed like uh, my waist belt was always in the way but <clears throat> i also use this with my stratus uh top layer and bottom layer but um i also do have uh the merino 330 long john also um as a base layer that I do run underneath my Stratus pant and I mean that right there with the 330 and the Stratus pant I'm I'm sitting down in the zeros I mean down below zero negative ten and I'm fine and then I also have the Fanatic hat and then on to the Fanatic now this thing is the workhorse this i love this thing with the side zip i do keep like uh i have a range finder that i keep in this pocket it has a zipper on the front that you can put like hand warmers in or store your phone in but the inside of this thing is very warm also this uh pouch here but this has the cross zip on it for bow hunting um you can see over here it has like this uh different fabric so where your pinch points are you got more mobility and then also on your shooting arm so your string isn't catching anywhere on that and then it also has magnetic hole back here that you can put your safety harness through that got a couple boots that i where um, I have the lacrosse uh, high top boots. This is the same pattern as my Sitka gear. Um, I believe they're the 
they're the highest gram ones and they're they're heavy but for them very very cold sits it's something that's very nice to have and then I also work uh, use my work boots when it's cooler um I got Irish setters that I wear so that is everything I believe um if there's anything else that you guys want to know about leave it in the comments below and uh I'll be surely to get back with you on that. <clears throat> also, I am running the G70. Uh, Canon G70 is what I am filming with right now that I have a Rode uh, microphone on it. <clears throat> um, been a very, very good camera for me. Um, so that was that. Like, subscribe. Um, stay tuned. we got a few hunts. Uh, planned. Um, I also have a very, very nice eight butt point uh, on camera um, at my cabin. So that's on public land. So maybe we can get a public land buck down early season, October 1st. So that's a week away. So stay tuned for all of that. And uh, we'll see you next time.